Okay, he's not gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. We almost hello. Huh? Yeah, I gotta say we almost have to end of the month. We're almost in July. I'd rather work with that other guy. I'm sorry. She's just too over the place. Thing. Um I'm gonna write I'm just gonna write the offer at six fifty because she's saying that after all I asked like listen. I wanted to cuss her out so bad, but I couldn't for your sake, you know. But uh, I'm like, listen, we're going to see these houses. We're going to see the ones that you pick. And you tell us we're okay. And then you come back and tell me it's something else. I said, are we, I need to know, are we okay or are we not okay? Well, it'll be i I'm going to check the numbers. I was like, I thought you already checked it, and that's why you said you can do this one work she's like well at seven hundred thousand that's a, that's a little too much i'm like well it was seven hundred motherfucking not... thousand when she sent the goddamn listing yeah it was six nine it's six ninety nine or something like yeah, that. yeah but it was six ninety nine right, so... when we went to the open house i mean what the fuck that's what i said we it's six ninety nine i'm like well um She's like, well, it's a little too much. She's like, I was like, well, the taxes are the lowest we've seen. And the rents, I said, they ain't going to get no better than that. I said, it's a four bedroom. I said, you're not going to get no better than that. I said, it's making all its rents. She's like, you can't get no more rents? I was like, well, we could probably go up to 2300 on a four bedroom down there. I'm not sure. But I said, but it's making 2100 That should be, that's not, that should be enough. She's like, yeah. She's just like, but she's like, oh, your ratios. It like was over like by two points, like was like fifty two or fifty something. I'm like, well, that just means like we just gotta come down and offer them less, which I wasn't trying to do. I was trying to offer them what they asking because you know other people will see it. But I just, I just took the back. I just like, well, what about at six fifty? I write at six fifty. Does the numbers work? So I'm waiting to hear back from. Me. But it's like yeah. You know, see, I did the better ratio. Tell me, I said I can't operate like this. You gotta tell me what I can do so I can go out and do it. I'm willing, willing to go out and do it. But don't, you know, you can't tell me that we're okay. I said, this is the one you said was okay. You know, we could do. I said, well, I did. No I did see the debt to ratio. I did the debt to ratio last night and it came up to what? 53. It came up to what? 53. Yeah, she said 52 or something like that. So, yeah. So, if I bring it down to 650 and make an offer at 650 because all the prices are coming down i'm going to send them this article that i just sent out on my pages um with bloomberg's just talking about there's going to be a housing correction from coast to coast so we know the prices are coming. i already called it yeah see this everything's saying what i've been saying the prices are coming down so these dudes they're not getting what they want and like every day that goes by it makes it less likely they're going to get what they can get. So I don't have a problem offering somebody what I think we should pay. I don't have a problem offering at 650 But tell me that if I make that offer and they accept it, that we're going to get the right. I mean, we're going to get the ride it out. You're going to get the process. That's all I'm trying to get from her. Because I already know the housing correction is coming. I said that last week when we were, uh, I, think I told, when we were dealing with Riverview, I was telling him the housing correction is coming. The very next day it came. And it's coming, and now everybody else is saying, you know. And I know you, you can see the trends. If people are calling me for your offers, that you already know it's changed. They weren't calling anybody back for offers. You know what I mean? Except the people who offered already had offers. They weren't calling back then. So the market has changed. The market's in your favor. You don't have to rush to buy a house, is what I'm trying to say. The market has come down. Don't, you know? As long as you, you know, as long as we get you more, but the mar the housing going to come down. So even though we're in it, we don't have to stop. But what I'm saying is I'm going to stop offering realistic offers. Like, I don't care what you ask for. This is what we're offering because it's at that point. If they don't accept it, they may not get another offer. And you can offer all day. You can offer on, you know what I mean? You can go more than one place and offer because you are a commodity now. They're seeking you. Instead of you seeking them, the game's changed. They're looking for buyers now. 
everybody's looking for buyers and there's only so many buyers out there so now you got the upper hand just off the just by being a buyer you got the upper hand because everybody wants buyers now there's not enough it's dried up out there some people ain't getting no look this particular house that um this broadway house this has been on the market since uh i think march or april yeah, because that house ain't going to work for nobody because it's only two bedrooms. Two bedrooms right. on three and floors. I told her, yeah, and she tried to throw me out. But I, but I made a point. I think she asked me about that a couple of days. That's why I made the appointment to um, I talk to the guy. But he just got back to me this morning saying that, it, that it's scheduled. But he wasn't letting people, he wasn't getting people in there because I came, the people weren't moved out. Now he got somebody moving out or something, you know. But I just want to write the offer on this property, so I'm just waiting to head back. If, the, if I do it at that, is your numbers right? That's all I want to know. And she's supposed to get right to me out a uh, new letter, so I want to see what the new letter is. I think it's for more money, for 650 or something. All right, well, this is it, because after this well, last... I, um... I'm telling you, because I, I, we don't need to kiss her ass. Even if your scores, well, your scores will go back up in a matter of a month or two. We can get your scores back up because it's only inquiries. It's not like you got debt. You know what I mean? It's only inquiries. That shit will, even if the inquiries are there, if you don't have debt, then you don't, you, they can't, you know what I mean? They're not, the bank's going to look at it and say, okay, well, she doesn't have any debt. So even if scores are uh, hurting, they'll know it's from the inquiries. You know what I mean? They'll know it's from shopping the mortgage. So they don't necessarily have to let that, you know, go hurt. You know what I mean? Because they know what it's the thing. But my, my, I'm just starting to lean towards, you know, something come on the market. We got the new money's coming, so it ain't like, you know, new money's coming somewhere between July and August 1st and the end of July. So, and we're about to hit July. You know what I mean? So, my thing is like this. Write an offer for what you really think you want. You know what I mean? We're at that point. And I just need her to clear that what the amount. But if you, if we see something in the amount that you can afford, which things are going to be coming down every day, we're going to see a change. All right? Every day, you just watch the market, we'll see a change. Because the correction Yeah, but is that coming. means I'm not going to be in, well, I'm not going to be in nothing by August then. No, I think we'll be in something by August. I think what happens is right now is because every day that go by like even right now i would write this offer at 650. i just need her to give me the paper to, to support it because he's not even though that's making good rents and that's rare there ain't but so many buyers out there now he had some other people come to see it but that don't mean they buy and we can test them you know we'll call his bluff if you get a better offer fine if you don't this is what we can offer but I just want to be able to say that, you know, because you, right now you know, I'm not going to play like the background to these guys. Like they got nothing to do with him anymore. They don't. I'm not well, going to be like, oh, give them what they asked for and then we'll do it back. That's not the strategy now. The strategy now is offer what you feel like you want to pay them. And they either accept it or they don't. And if they don't, guess what? It's someone else selling a house. And they know that too. Cause there's more houses on the market it's still it still has a slow people putting their house on the market but what it has done is bring down the price on people who uh, um put their house on the market you know well but, if you uh, offer like the 650 i guess you could just offer the yesterday and the day before yesterday i received probably like three different inquiries from three different agents about whether you like the house and want to put an offer in. So when they call you up doing that, it's clear to me what's going on. So. You know. Yeah. And the only reason why I'm willing to even force this issue to write, to write that one, this one, is because the rents are good. Because I'm back looking in. I'm already off this. I'm already back in Boston looking at stuff. I see a couple of things in Boston. And I 
a couple of people didn't get the memo in Boston, but they're going to get the memo because there's, there's two new ones that they put on here I think are pretty hot. Well, I mean, everybody's going to take go high and then bring it down. They they don't want to underbid themselves, so they'd rather just go as high as they can and then take what they can. Yeah, but they're going to have to come down because I'm telling you, I can tell you right now, they ain't going to get no licks. They ain't going to get no licks because I'm saying people who... The same people who would buy that type of house here in Brockton are the same people who are willing to go to New Bedford and Fall River. Uh, because that's mostly them K. Birdie and them Haitians. You know they'll go down. You know what I mean? Yeah, because they in Taunton. I seen them down in Taunton. Yeah, right. Because they don't care. Because they, they don't care where they live. Because they don't have a connection. No, to they any don't. Part of the, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And see, that's the difference. That's the difference. When you have a, like, you know, I'm from Boston, and I have roots in Boston, but I can't live in Boston. So you want to be as close to Boston as you can. They don't care. They'll be down the South Shore because that's all they know, Mm -hmm. you know? So, 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 yeah, I'm just saying, like, you know, we we, we don't have to, uh, at this point, I don't think it, I don't. I don't think rushing is the thing. I know we want to get rid for, for your mother. I think it's still doable at that, but I don't think we. I think we each week that goes by, something different. Hey, I'm looking at the market right now, and I'm telling you what I see, and I haven't been wrong since we just uh, since uh, uh, on that journey. Um, I'm in Brock. No, that's why is that whole book? I thought it was in Brock. Anyways, um, yeah, there's still a lot of stuff, and like I said, they'll go to Brock and the Fall River. Those people will go to Brock and the Fall River and get a better deal because they're pricing their stuff more legit. Even even Taunton's pricing their stuff more legit. There's a couple of people, but. But for the most part, Brockton, even Brighton, I mean, um, Taunton's even pricing their stuff pretty much appropriately. But Brockton is trying to get Boston prices. Boston ain't even getting those prices. I mean, Boston's down to eight fifty for a thing. Now, you can find multi-families for seven to eight. They're not trying to get a man two for a three-family no more. They ain't nobody going to pay no man two, no man, no man over a million dollars for a three-family right now. Unless you in the hottest area, like you gotta be like downtown Boston, something. Yeah. It ain't going. It ain't going down like that now. The, the, the tables have already uh, switched. That's all I do. I'm Boston, see what they charge me for three family. Then I go uh, 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 to, to Brockton, and like I'm seeing the same numbers. And you know, ain't nobody going off to come to Brockton if they can. If they got the same numbers they're getting in Bar- uh, Boston. Boston ain't getting no big money making no people. Okay, so there you have it, people. He's still talking, but he he, he, he likes to talk anyway. But um, there you have it. Um, so I'm going to just wait for them to write up this offer, and we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. Check this out. Or that's rare that somebody buys a house. Usually in Boston or just Massachusetts, when you buy a house, it always goes up. But these people who bought these houses in this past year or two, paying a million dollars and eight fifty and nine hundred, their prices are going down. They they lost equity because they overpaid for their house to begin with, and now the market's corrected, and then they're gonna see, oh my house. Now don't get me wrong, like if you bought in Boston. The house will go back up over time, so you you get your money back. But you, like you ain't got a whole bunch of equity now. You got lost equity. You know, but anyway, you guys, be the curve. thank you so much for watching you know, my video, and I will keep you posted okay. on yeah. my next thing. Peace.